I just want to recommend a couple of people, a couple of channels. Uh, the first one is uh, Joe Embriano, the Fullerton Informer. Uh, if you can handle his screaming and yelling, he's got some very... He's got a lot of detailed information uh, on things that you're aware of and maybe more detailed. He's, he's really uh, into what he's talking about. So let's, uh, let's hear him for a minute. All right, folks, I, I, I just have to tell you, I just come out of a grocery store in my community and uh, he's got to save room for pie, ladies and gentlemen. You see... You know that this is all absolute bullshit when you uh, see people walking around with masks. That's right. People are walking around with masks, walking out of the grocery stores with cases of Coca-Cola and cases of ice cream and hot dogs and uh, Ruffles and Pringles and Antimans. And, uh, you know, they're buying all this uh, food that makes you fat and stupid and sick, right? And then we got to take a vaccine? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> right? No, seriously, folks. Uh, you know, the medical system is a total fraud. Uh, there was a nurse. I could see her, uh, her thing. Had her credentials on it, on her name tag in front of me in the checkout line. Had the little cross from the St. Jude Hospital she so proudly works at. <laughs> and she was wearing her mask. And she had a 12-pack of Diet Joke and a couple of bottles of wine and some Hungry Man, right? And, uh, and some candy. You see, folks, if this was a real public health threat, if this was a real public health threat, ladies and gentlemen, guess what they'd be doing? They'd be banning sugar. They'd be banning television episodes that raise your blood pressure. They'd be banning all the satanic mind control filth. They'd be banning all the Oxycontins and all these terribly, highly addictive, destructive, poisonous, toxic, petrochemical, allopathic poison, right? They do no such thing. They do no such thing. See, the first thing that you would do in a public health crisis is ban the movie industry, ban the media. Ban the evil, vile scum that are mind-controlling people into insanity, right? Oh, no, you can go... You know what's sold out in every grocery store I've been to, folks? <laughs> Freaking ice cream, right? I'm not kidding you, folks. It ain't the frozen pizzas, oh, it's man. the ice cream, right? <laughs> so guess what they're doing, folks? They're packing every houses there, and the school district's handing out Wi-Fi hotspots like lollipops on Halloween, and these children are being told to keep them really close to them, so it works really good, right? The vape shops are open. The pot shops are open, right? And none of the cops are wearing masks. They're adding more towers to the cell towers, right? <laughs> All right, there's a little That's taste. Right. There's a little taste of Joe. <laughs> and then there's this guy Taylor. He's just kind of on a whole nother, whole nother thing. It's but dark, dark, old, but uh, it's a violet black. This guy is um. This is the guy that'll go without eating for fifty days. Consciousness is now available. Info in the description. So when it comes to to white supremacy. People have been subjected to dozens of World War II movies. Whether they're making Hitler out to be the bad guy, you're being acquainted with the idea of white supremacy. But most people are never acquainted with the idea of black supremacy. How can you get one side of the spectrum and have full spectrum view of life? I'm not telling people to, to be extreme or polarized on either side. But if you don't digest both sides, then you'll never be able to, to really grasp the, the full spectrum of, of life itself. So... When you look into black supremacy, and I don't mean just physical black supremacy, I just mean like the darkness itself being the source of all art, science, language, um, everything, you know, art, science, language, spirituality, obviously. So, you know, you're going into darkness or, you know, when people are going into Kemet or chemistry, Kemet meaning black, you know, uh, the dark matter that we live in, that we're going towards the unity anyway, though, to be real. To be real, like when you when you're doing meditation or breath work, you're closing your eyes so that you don't you're not in the light. The name of his channel is Tao Lore. 
and uh, he's just on a completely different level. Um, but there's good in a lot of different levels. You just got to know where to look. Because if your eyes are closed, then it's just complete darkness. So that's just unity. Right. That's oneness. Or what you hear. So when you have that oneness, you, you don't have that perception of, of separation, which uh, that's, how, that's how lack can fester, the illusion of separation. So getting back to the darkness is what gets us back to unity. So just digesting that side of the spectrum will shed some, some light on the darkness or however you want to look at it. I mean, really can't separate it. Um, because light is projected darkness. Um, you get dark in the sun. The sun is black. It's ultraviolet. Uh, again, the, the skin is reflecting the black universe that the stars are fueled by and sit in. So everybody really is a shade of black. You know, pink is just a really distant shade or really light shade of black. Nobody's really white. So from from red, ruddy, pink to dark, dark, ultraviolet black, they're all different shades of black. So, it's really uh, oneness when you're going towards the darkness. And the only thing that created the separation was the fungus. You know, when you have a compromised liver from the candida, from the thrush, and you're overrun by thrush, then you, your skin will have eczema and it will, you will lose color. You'll be losing color. Now, over generations, you lose more and more color. Now, as that happens, over generations of people doing that, or people living further away from places where they can live naked, then you have people having a small group of people to even inbreed with. The more that you inbreed, the more pale you become. You can look at white tigers or any white mammal. They're all products of interbreeding recessive traits. So the more that if two albinos inbreed, they can only make more albinos. But if you... All right, so, uh, yeah, that dude Taylor, he's got a lot of really cool stuff to talk about. Um... And then, if any of you guys, for some reason, haven't been on, uh, Robin's Hood. Something funny there, buddy? <laughs> I mean, you can see all kinds of things, and you can see a million different shapes and sizes and all types of stuff. It's almost like it's up for each person's interpretation as to what they see. Just like the Bible. Interpretation. So yeah, that's Robin at Robin's Hood. Um, yeah. So if you guys haven't heard of these guys, you might want to check them out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>